you are going to love this haul that I've got um, at the moment. So I've been saving things up for you because I know you love seeing what I get. I have vintage fabric, I have clothes, I have patterns, I have, what else do I have? Laces, oh, so many things. And I have some beautiful antique clothing that I found as well. <sighs> So many great things that I'm so excited uh, to show you. So let's get started. Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. My name's Evelyn Wood and I'm a vintage style dressmaker and I love to go thrift shopping and I have a great haul uh, here for you. I know you guys all love seeing my finds that I get so much. Like these are some of the, my most popular videos and I love that you guys love the, the show and the tell part too. So it's uh, not so much my aim to just show you all the things that I get, but it's more that uh, to show you some of the unique things that are out there in thrift stores and garage sales, yard sales, you might call them, uh, that you can find that often look like pretty much like junk if they're just by themselves and they're next to other junk. It's hard to see the, the single little treasure there sometimes. So showing you my things uh, might give you a bit more insight on what you can look for. And it's particularly with the refashions, of course, some of the, you know, the secondhand clothing that I do find. Uh, what I might intend to do with it, to what I look for, just to give you a bit more insight. And of course, because I love that you guys are so excited about all the things that I get excited about in finding little treasures in the world. So uh, I have quite a number of things. I have sort of two stashes here. Um, I had been saving up a little collection just for you, but just over the weekend I went to a garage sale or what you might call a yard sale and there was a huge stash of vintage fabrics and knickknacks that I found which just made the pile explode and I had to show you. So I'm going to start with sort of the first lot which is sort of more some clothing, things like that. Then I'll move on to the second part that has all the fabrics and my very special finds that are some antique clothing that I am oh, so excited to have in my collection, but we'll save the best for last. Okay, we have lovely rectangular scarf, perfect for my headbands, perfect color. When I took a closer look, and this is actually from Expo 88. So in 88, they had the World Expo here in uh, my city. This scarf is a relic from that time. Uh, beautiful little blouse, or it will be a beautiful little blouse. So I see this one, I love the little, um, the print to go with sort of all my navy that I usually wear. I see this with having like a little puffy sleeve and a bit more fitted. Beautiful 1930s look from that one. I found this gorgeous white knit top. So my idea with this one is it should fit just as is, but to actually put the belt, you know, over the top of it so it um, will sit like that, like my red one, for instance, that I'm wearing now, would look so cute over the top. Okay, these are so good. Look at this, you know how much I love a good two-piece, right? Look at the skirt with the pleats and everything. So 30s. Uh, this will be turned into a beautiful, um, like probably tie front, so I'll chop it and have a little tie front, sleeveless, like a two-piece um, play suit for summer in this gorgeous red color, I mean suits me yeah ah this one may not show up so well on the camera so it is a jacket and it is a uh, silk velvet so it's really luxurious it's kind of it's actually quilted so what I have planned for this one is I'm going to turn this one into a cape stay tuned a little bit mm, down the track for that one Okay, a couple of more tops uh, for summer, just uh, lovely cotton button-ups. This one is quite light. Uh, again, I'll probably do maybe a little refashioning, maybe not to the navy, maybe it'll stay as is. The red gingham, again, I'm thinking to feminize it a little bit, you know, probably a puff sleeve. It's, it's a bit big for me, so it'll need a bit of um, tailoring in, but just two simple shirts. This is neat, so neat. Okay, can you see the detail here? Ah, oh, it's divine. So, I think this is a faux silk. Yeah, I don't think it crinkles enough to be real silk. Doesn't really matter. It's just a, it's really light, which is perfect because, you know, it's not very cold where I live. Uh, jacket with uh, this kind of detailing. It's a little bit long. You can see it sort of comes down to 
to here on me. So I really saw like Edwardian early 20s vibes with this um, with this detailing around the neckline. Imagine this, but wearing like a big wide sash over the top, something like that. This gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous top. Silk cotton, yes. So it's really light, beautiful, it'll be breathable. It's just adorable. It just fits as is, maybe with maybe like a little neck scarf or something around it. Glass bowl for Esme to have her little drink from. Okay, and at these places I found a lot of trims. So I don't think I can show you every piece. Um, I have, yeah. So yeah, this bag here, actually this collar came separate. Never know, might be useful in refashioning. This has old zips. It has some laces in here. There are heaps of um, uh, like old snaps, vintage snaps, vintage hooks and eyes. Okay, this I did love. It is a giant safety pin. It's actually for knitting, but I thought it would make a really quirky, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, or a silly little brooch. Not little, silly, enormous brooch. So I love this. I love quirky things like this. I didn't know it was for knitting and when I first got it, I just saw it and thought I could use that as a nice decoration piece. Okay, the next bag I got, this all came together. This is full of lace. Uh, I love collecting this sort of stuff because when you're refashioning, you don't know what you need until you actually need it when you're there. So, you know, it's good to have a good stash of things that you can just pull from when you need it. So honestly, um, there is just so much here. Some is modern, some is really old, which caught my eye. There's some for lingerie. There's a few different colors. Metallic gold rickrack because, well, actually I think that's obvious. If you bird up Hatton magazines from the 90s, I just love these to see what kind of things were available at different times. There's the patterns. Uh, and you know, it's just full, what kind of things they have in their tips, tricks, they're really fashion focused in these magazines, just gives me lots of inspiration. Okay, moving on to the things I got just on the weekend from probably one of the biggest uh, scores that I've had in so long. So it's just a lady getting rid of things, her ad said sort of fabric and knickknacks and things like that, it's just incredible. So let's start with, well, I got a few cane planters because... Oh, oh obviously. And in here there were like along with all the fabrics there were like just containers and containers of buttons. So many. Uh, I only got just a few. Um, a few of like these navy ones. There's lots of um, lots and lots of them so I can use those as kind of decoration. It's not often that you get so many of all the same ones so I went with those and obviously navy is a color I use a lot. And I did pick up a lot of the really, really small ones in different colors. Um, when I did that last men's shirt refashion, I kind of discovered that I didn't have enough real tiny buttons that fit into those tiny men's shirt uh, button holes. So an old fashioned whisk. Now I know this is specialty for something, whether it is for um, cream or I don't know, like I know I've seen them used before and I know it has a special purpose but I'll have to look it up. Unless you know what this one is good for and you can tell me in the comments below. Thanks. Stunning little red deco bag that actually matches my outfit today perfectly. Uh, these are the fabrics I got. There are so many great ones. So believe it or not, I've actually been to this same lady's house before. Maybe about a year ago, I was garage sailing of course, again, and I went there and she had a bunch of fabrics and I, I had just got all this vintage fabric, it was amazing. As soon as I pulled up to the driveway, I had deja vu all over, I was like, I've been here before. So she still has some of this fabric stash and I am still clearly buying her fabric stash. She remembered me too. Okay, uh, I won't go, I'll, I'll quickly show you through because we could be here forever. Um, lovely, lovely light grey. This is so cute. This is polyester, but it is adorable. It's not going to crush. Can you see the little spot through it? It's a light peachy color. I need this for some lingerie that is happening in my future. So this is perfect. Uh, just a little bit of some red wool. Look at this. Okay, so when I originally uh, saw this, I thought it was 80s polyester for sure, because every time I see a print like this and it's, you know, shiny and everything, I thought, 
obviously 80s polyester but look at these colors and this print so me right so this she was giving these were sold for about a dollar a piece so each piece is a dollar so even though it was polyester i was willing to put it into my collection because um hello but then on further inspection when i the excitement level calmed down and i got home and looked at it as soon as i picked it up and touched it it's silk so um bernice my student who come in and i was showing her through my collection just straight after <laughs> this um she suggested a beautiful night like a full length 1930s summery dress from this fabric yeah it's going to be perfect right to die for vintage rayon this is like full that beautiful heavy weight oh so good and there's like four meters or so here so there's heaps to play with uh, some very lovely cream lace it's not a lot but it might make a nice little overtop it's a very very nice and soft this is so sumptuous look at this can you see that moving oh gorgeous right look at this color so there's maybe only two meters and yeah some of it is a bit damaged that happens with vintage fabric it's been in storage for who knows how long 50 years gorgeous white cotton can you see this here the lovely sort of burnout print on it there is quite a bit here and being white is always usually damage marks but it looks pretty good so excited about mm, a nice summer blouse with this one i think a small length of navy gingham because it's gingham yeah this is spectacular this is vintage cotton now it's that kind that has that you know it's sort of treated it's kind of a bit stiff and has a bit of structure to it and it doesn't really crush so much it's gorgeous and there's about uh, actually has it written on here where was it yeah so it's only 90 centimeters wide uh, but there's 5.75 meters apparently so oh can you imagine what I'm going to make out of this something summary for sure this is just a length of some like poly cotton drill type it's a little bit different but uh uh yeah so this will be fantastic for a skirt i'm thinking maybe 20s 30s kind of kind of look and it has that really nice weight to it and the color is perfection okay this one's a bit strange it's actually upholstery fabric but at a dollar for the whole thing I just I had to get it something drew me to it so you can kind of use it double-sided you can see the texture in it right I don't know maybe I'll do something furnishings out of it but maybe maybe even a like um, a light outer coat you know, like a three-quarter sleeve um, I've got a navy one that I wear all the time something similar in this this fabric here in the red could work really nicely of course would not be complete without some doilies of course these ones are really fun and frilly perhaps a little frilly cravat mm-hmm okay then I cannot even believe she had these in her house I don't know why she's been given things from her mother grandmother she goes to auctions I've got three pieces here look at this little I'm thinking it's judging by the other pieces probably late 20s um, something like that it's really it's stunning it is so light it's beautiful it is all like hand done all of this is actually hand embroidered and and drawn out through the fabric is stunning so it is um as is damaged of course it's got some holes in it but uh, I won't be wearing this one it's a bit too delicate and she didn't know what to do with these pieces so she's basically just almost giving them to me to be honest okay as soon as I saw this I nearly died I've never actually seen one of these in with my own eyes because I live in Australia and in Brisbane no less and we just don't have things like this even in museums so for me it was such a treat look at this this is a an original uh, 1920s um, little white work dress isn't it incredible I think it was kept in a drawer with like lavender scent or something because it smells divine it's in pretty good condition for being a hundred years old it is stained all over but otherwise it is just I have been dreaming about owning something like this it's 
fantastic to look at things like this like I'm already looking at how it's made the tiny tiny little seams that are in it the look at the the armhole is so strange um, you know it's something I can talk about in another video um, it's just delightful really delightful for me to have such a original antique piece that I can take a peek at and just add to my collection and obviously I won't be wearing this one or anything like that it's just staying as is as a piece to treasure then she says, I also have this other um, green thing. It's got like little snaps down the side, you know? And I'm sitting there like, yes, I know. <laughs> and she pulls out this. She pulled these out specially for me, of course. They weren't just sitting on the tables. She saw that I was into these things, so she went and got them and brought them out for me. So look at this. It's full length, goes all the way. It, you look at this fabric, it is gorgeous. So I'd say, you know, again, this is probably maybe 20s, maybe 30s, but judging by the other pieces, I think they probably all belong together. So uh, it's in spectacular condition. Uh, if it fit me, I'd probably wear it, but unfortunately there's no chance of me fitting into this. Uh, this is all hand crocheted around the edges here. The only thing that is, um, is the snaps that need replacing, maybe one or two stitches. It is in fantastic condition. Gorgeous little um, nightgown slip. So stunning, right? I know. <laughs> so I'm so excited to have found those little pieces in there at a garage sale. I can't believe it. So I, as I said, enjoy showing you these pieces because um, it gives you, it's just, I mean, it's fun. I get excited about the sort of treasures and clothing. This is, this is what I love. It's, you know, it's my hobby, my job, my, I, my interest. So I love uh, sharing that with you, that you get so much excited so much excitement um, in seeing what I get and give you some ideas of what you can find and hopefully a new eye to actually look at the pieces that you might see in amongst all the other trash when you're at the thrift store or garage sale type thing you can find out those little treasures um, that you can then um, have in your own wardrobe and your house as well in the future so I hope you enjoyed let me know of course which one is your favorite what do you like the most uh, let me know I'm always excited to read uh, what you find the most interesting of my finds so let me know in the comments below and of course until next time bye okay this is this is from the magazine look at this look at this I mean what is that <gasps> there's just lines everywhere both sides both sides that is not a roadmap. That is my worst nightmare.